guys, my name is Fasfi and I'm just back again with this Lenovo Yoga 900 laptop because I figured out some more stuff that I think you guys might like to know or is interesting to share about it since I've been using it a little bit longer than just the week that I had it in Sydney. Um, so since I have actually been able to take it home to continue using it for a little while since I've got a bit more travel coming up. Um, but yeah, so this is essentially the box. I didn't really do an unboxing, but yeah. I really like the box. It's probably the first thing I'm gonna point out because you open it and it pops up. Like, it's really cute. Like, I, I really, really like that. <laughs> I don't know, it just makes it feel like it's like the, the Zelda. <laughs> and then you've got the Yoga 900. Um, it's got a really nice compartment in here where everything was kept. I haven't got a case for this laptop yet, but this box has been working really well for me because of that. Um, so yeah, all the power and everything's in there. Um, I'm gonna start off with saying that in my first video that I made about it, um, I had only tried League on it and I was like, oh, I can't fit it on the hard drive, I had all these problems. So I obviously had to find a way how to play Overwatch and World of Warcraft and the other games that I was playing on it um, because yeah, I need a laptop that can do that. <laughs> um, so the way that I got around that is I have an external hard drive like this. Um, and yeah, it's just USB 3 and I've got the games installed on here. For Battle.net, I installed the Battle.net client on the laptop itself and then I've just directed the games to the hard drive so every time I plug it in, it'll find the location of the games from the external hard drive. So that's how I got around the size problem that I was experiencing and I can happily say that yeah, it plays Overwatch, it plays um, World of Warcraft and it plays League. So, you know, there's all of my bases covered. I'm, that's all I need. Um, it is on very low quality in most of them just because I would prefer myself to have the performance over the quality of the video and graphics. But, you know, that's up to you. You can find the different balance to, you know, what you would prefer and what you would like. Um, so, from that, moving on because I've obviously set this up to, to play games on and just play around. I came against the problem that, you know, it didn't even cross my mind because I was traveling with it, but there's no like dedicated port for a monitor. So there's no VGA or HDMI or anything like that. So from what I understand, you can get some USB converters that would allow you to set it up onto a monitor, but on its own, it won't actually connect to an external monitor. So you're just stuck with a 13 inch screen, um, which for gaming, I think is too small, <laughs> or at least the gaming that I do, or maybe it's just cause I'm so used to my other monitors, my 24 inch monitors that, you know, that's a really hard step for me to, to do. Um, that and there's only two USB ports. So you've got your USB one, another USB on the other side, and then you've got your charging USB. So that presented a problem to me because I would use one for the headset and then I would use one for a mouse and then, um, yeah, oh, that's why. <laughs> and then I needed one for the hard drive so I could play my external games. So the way that I got around that was by getting just something like this, which is just a USB. That gives you more USBs. <laughs> so yeah, so essentially that's how I got around that problem, which I thought was fairly cool. So yeah, this laptop plays all of the games that I want to play. And yeah, I guess that's probably the things that I found important while, you know, taking it home and playing it just for like a more at home use kind of look at it because before it, I was looking at it for the traveling side of things. So if you were looking at just getting this for your everything, those are the things I'd say you would have to look out for. Um, I also found out that this actually comes in other colors. So it's not just orange, it comes in a gold, a pink and a silver as well as the orange. So there's four different colors. So the pink looks really cool, obviously. I don't know, it's 
stands out to me. I still really like the orange because it's just, I don't know, yeah, I'm Dutch. The, it's the colour of my people. Um, <laughs> so I'm very happy with the orange, but there's, yeah, a gold looks really nice as well. So there's a few different varieties of colours that you can get. Um, and there's also different, um, like, what you can choose to have inside. So this one's got the um, Intel Core i5. I know there's an i3 as well as an i7. And then there's also different sizes of the hard drives that you can get inside of it as well. I mentioned about the um, monitor. There's no connection for the monitors. There's also no um, Ethernet cable port. So there's no LAN cable either. So you have to do it everything via wireless. So, you know, I think that might also be a little bit of a downside uh, to it. But, you know, technology is getting so great these days that it's not even something that you would have a lot of problems with unless, you know, you live in a bad area, you have bad internet. But aside from that, so it's, it's still pretty good. <laughs> All right, I will leave it at that for now. If I think of anything else or there's any other questions that you might have that you'd like to have answers, feel free to tweet them at me or get them to me however you like and I'll do my best to answer them and see if I can figure out um, how best to answer them. And we'll leave it at that. So thanks a lot guys and thank you so much to Lenovo again for letting me use and have this laptop. I've really enjoyed it and I really like it and it's just such a calming and relaxing feel for me to have this when I travel around. So thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, that's it. Bye.